I'm sorry, I've been watching Seinfeld all day long. Today I am going to talk about my new favorite things. And just a quick disclaimer, that doesn't mean like necessarily the newest things out on the market. This isn't gonna be some like, have you heard about alien slime serum? It's the newest thing, no. I'm talking about things that are just new to me that I've gotten recently and I like them a lot. So don't be like, that's been around for 27 years. This is new to me and my eyeballs and brain. And this is also like kind of a hodgepodge of things. It's not even necessarily all beauty things. Some things are just like a random thing that I'm like, oh, I like this and I wanna talk about it, whatever. I have two face items. So I'll talk about this first since they're just sitting here. The first thing is this uh, Saint Tropez facial oil. Um, Saint Tropez sent this to me to try. This is so amazing. I already love a facial oil. Um, it's and this just has like a little bit of color to it. So it's not like you walk in the door and you're like, boom, look at my self tanner all over my face. Look at it. It's more of an understated glow that you would get from this. Oh, and let's the smell. It smells kind of citrusy. It doesn't have a strong self tanner smell and the oil feels really nice. It absorbs really quickly and I've used it. I mean a lot, probably like 10 times. I don't know if you can see how many is gone, how much, how many is gone, how much is gone from it. But I mean, there's a lot in here. I don't know, I don't know what my point was, but I really do love this stuff. And the bronzing mousse is my favorite self tanner of all time. And so this is also amazing, love it. Okay, the next thing might be kind of a weird thing for summer. Um, but I am on Retin-A, so, and I live in Arizona, which is like a freaking desert. So my skin has been getting really dry and dehydrated. Um, so I needed to get something that was really strong and moisturizing and like soothing and stuff that I could put on at night. Um, so I kind of did some research and I heard about this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intensive Therapy Skin Protectant with Fab Antioxidant Boost. I don't know, whatever, it's a cream. It's a thick cream and it's good for sensitive skin. It has no smell. I bought this at Sephora. I don't know if it's sold other places or not. And this has helped me immensely. It doesn't have any gross stuff in it. You know, like no parabens, no crazy chemicals. It has, oh, eucalyptus oil is like a slight scent of eucalyptus, but not overpowering. You're not gonna be smell like koala vomit, but it's really thick. So if you put like, and you can use it on your body too. Um, you can put like a nice, thick layer on at night and it absorbs in and uh, when you wake up in the morning, your skin will be nice and soft. My skin has been like a hot mess of like dry patches and this has really helped me a lot in that area. And another thing that has helped me, this is you, some of you might be like, what the f that's so random that to talk about for skincare, but I don't know, whatever, it's helped me. I got a new, um, shower head and it's from Culligan and I got it for like $30 on Amazon because I have a really, really hard water. So um, I got a filtered water, a shower head that filters water. And there are some like beauty driven ones out there that are like over $100. But on Amazon, this one had really high reviews and I was like, shoot, it's $30, let's try it and see. I know this sounds kooky as hell, but I can tell a big difference in my skin and my hair of like when I wash my face in the sink, which doesn't have the um, filter on it, and then when I take a shower. Like my skin is way less dry when I take a shower with a new shower head as opposed to like the regular <laughs> water. Okay. So the next thing I wanna talk about are these Hair La Vie vitamins. I have been taking various assortments of hair vitamins for a while now, and I got an email from uh, the PR people for Hair La Vie, and it was talking about how this is all natural and it doesn't have fillers or like weird stuff in it. So I was like, shoot, I might wanna try these. So they ended up sending me two months worth of these vitamins and I mean it's hard to tell like the first month or so if anything if it's like making your hair grow longer or helping it or whatever but I would say at the end of the second month I started noticing that my hair was growing and so I ended up buying my own three month supply after I ran out of the two months because I do feel like it's starting to work and I feel a lot better taking something that doesn't have a bunch of in it that I don't know what it is okay my next thing this is not beauty related at all 
I usually am a hot coffee drinker and I know probably you're like, what, what are you talking about? Okay, so I started drinking this Stumptown cold brew coffee and every time I see it, I wanna say, Stumptown coffee back again. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, whatever. If you've never tried cold brewed coffee and you are a caffeine addict, aficionado you need to try this i buy this at whole foods like an uppity annoying person it's not really that much cheaper than like buying it from a coffee place but i can hoard them i can get like six at a time so i have enough for like the week instead of just like going to a coffee place and buying one coffee and then going back the next day and buying another one but anyway I i'm getting way off track if you haven't tried cold brew coffee it is crazy it has way more caffeine in it and then it has less acid in it than regular coffee. So the way that they do it, you know like normal coffee, you, you pretty much pour hot water over the coffee grounds and make coffee. So with this, instead of hot water, they use a cold water and it like drips and it takes like 24 hours or something to make. I don't know, fancy. It has caffeine like out of this world. This is good. The good good. So not beauty related at all, but if you really like coffee, you can buy this at your local hootie hoo, wherever. Now back to beauty stuff. <sighs> Don't you hate when people do that? But then when you do it, it just feels good. The last couple things I have are hair related. Again, I kind of went from hair to coffee, hair. whatever. I'm, I'm over myself. The first thing is this Paul Mitchell forever blonde conditioner. It has keratin in it, I believe, which I don't like to use every day because I think it is too much. It starts to hate, make your hair like brittle. Um, so I kind of cycle it with other sh conditioners that I have, but it's only for blonde hair, I think, because it has a very slight lavender color. I mean, ugh, this looks a hot mess, but I don't know if you can see, but it's it's really like a white with like a touch of lavender. Like, let's not be crazy. So if you have an, another hair color other than blonde, you could totally use this, but it makes my hair very soft. It smells clean, if that's something that's important to you. It's not like a florally whatever. Um, but yeah, it just makes my hair very like silky and nice and doesn't feel like a parched old piece of hay. The last thing is, I like having this counter here. Let me see. Lazy. The last thing is this Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder. So what this is, is it's like a dry shampoo and a um, kind of texturizing volume powder. I like this because I tend to get an oily scalp even on like the same day I wash my hair. Like by the end of the day, my hair is just kind of like Meh, and like oily and just <clears throat> sad. I can put this on my roots and it kind of gives you a little volume and makes you look a little hey. It has a top that has a little tiny, teeny tiny hole in it. So you just put like a little tiny bit in your hand and then you like rub your hands together and then you just like put it on your, your roots slash scalp, whatever. The reason why I like this as opposed to just some of the other like regular dry shampoos and such is it's really, really fine powder. Um, it's not like, it's much more fine than like a baby powder or like a regular dry shampoo, which is gonna have like bigger grains in it. So it's not going to be like chunky root hair. Do you know what I mean? It's not gonna feel like gritty is the word I'm looking for. It's not gritty or it doesn't feel weird on your scalp. And it just kind of gives you a little bit more of like a dried texture look. And the, the container I like too, because you can just bloop, squirt it and move on with your life. Oh jeez. Okay, so that's it. Those are my newest to me things that I am loving right now. If you have something that you are loving, tell me about it in the old comments because I'm always down to try new things, whether they're new or a million years old, because I will try it. Almost certainly. Okay, I'll see you next time. Boys to men going on. Not too hard, not too soft.